Hello friends, this video on acids, bases and salts part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now look at the litmus test. How do we exactly perform the test? So now we are ready with the litmus papers. So let's see how the litmus paper behaves differently with an acidic solution and a basic solution. Now when this litmus paper is put into a solution which is acidic in nature, what happens is the blue litmus turns red. So if you see only this much part of the litmus paper is in contact with the solution. So this part has changed its color from blue to red. Why did this happen? Because we already know that whenever litmus solution comes in contact with acids, it turns red. So that is why we have used blue litmus paper. So it turned red, which specifically showed that this solution is acidic in nature. Right now in, in this case, if you use a red litmus paper, what will happen? There will be no change in color because anyways acidic solution will turn the litmus paper into red. So the red litmus paper will remain red. So that is why to test acidic solution it is better to use a blue litmus paper so that we can distinctly see the change in color. On the other hand if we want to test a basic solution we use a red litmus paper so that it turns blue. So for a basic solution, B for basic, B for blue. So in basic solutions, the color which color changes into blue. So this is how, this is a very simple test and this is also a very convenient because you just have strips of litmus papers, you use them, put it into a solution and get the result. So it is quite simple. So always remember this, that in basic solution, the color will change to blue. So we will use red litmus paper. Similarly, in acidic solution, the color will change to red. That is why we will use blue litmus paper. So this is basically the litmus test. Now you might ask, then what happens to neutral solutions? Because uh, in, in that case, the neutral solution, there would be no change in color, correct? That is how it should be. And that is what happens. So for neutral solution, whether you put the red litmus paper or you put the blue litmus paper, both of them do not change their color. Now, one very important thing to be noted here that whenever you have to test whether a solution is neutral or not, you have to perform the test with both red litmus paper as well as blue litmus paper. Because if you are only using red litmus paper and the color doesn't change, so you have, there are two possibilities that can happen. One is maybe the solution is acidic because in acidic solution also the red litmus paper will not change its color or the solution is neutral. So to arrive at the right conclusion, what you have to do is you have to test the solution with both red and blue litmus paper. If both of them do not change their color, that would mean that the solution is neutral. So this is very important. Please do not get confused. Whenever you are asked that how do you perform litmus test for lit neutral solution, please make sure that you mention that you have to check it with both red as well as blue litmus paper. Only then you can uh, conclude that the solution is actually neutral. So no change in color of red or blue litmus paper when they are put in neutral solution. So let us see uh, what happens when this litmus test is performed on various substances. So we spoke about a lot of substances which are acidic or basic or neutral in nature. Let's see what, uh, what are the results of the litmus test on those substances. So first let's take example of the lemon. So lemon contains citric acid. So it is acidic in nature. So when you prepare a lemon solution, you take out the lemon juice and prepare the solution, take it in a bowl and put blue litmus paper. The blue litmus paper will turn red. But when you put red litmus paper, there will be no change in color. So this proves that this is acidic in nature. Similarly, when you try it out with the soap, so soap is basic in nature. So here the red litmus paper turns blue. Now for each of them, you actually need to prepare a solution because only with solution these tests work. For sugar, 
if you prepare a sugar uh, sugar solution and then put your litmus paper there will be no change in color in fact you can try this out with both red as well as blue litmus paper and in both the cases you will not see any change in color so that's how this litmus test actually helps us to tell which substance is acidic and which substance is basic so you see we got rid of tasting substances to find out which is sour and which is bitter and that and then decide which one is acidic and which one is basic so this is a more convenient and more simple way of deciding the acidity of a substance thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.